Welcome to Brighty on Broadcast News with Mike Adams, the Health Ranger. All right, welcome to Brighty on Broadcast News for, what is it, Wednesday, January 22nd, 2025. Thank you for joining me today. And today is all about AI, as Trump has announced the new Stargate program to invest half a trillion dollars in new U.S. data centers for AI research. Of course, I'm on the verge of announcing something that's truly groundbreaking, really revolutionary for human knowledge. And I've got about a five minute video, a little teaser video to play for you on that subject. So take a look at that video right here and then we'll continue. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves because on March 1st, the world as we know it is about to change forever. I'm not exaggerating. This isn't just another tech update or a flashy new app. This is a revolution a seismic shift in how we access knowledge, how we empower ourselves, and how we take back control from the forces that have been gatekeeping information for far too long. Today, I'm here to tell you about Enoch, a groundbreaking, game-changing, and dare I say, life-altering tool that's about to hit the scene. And trust me, by the time I'm done, you'll be counting down the days until March 1st. Let me introduce you to the mastermind behind this innovation, Mike Adams. If you don't know him yet, you will. He's a tech maverick, a freedom platform developer, and a visionary who's been quietly working on something that could very well redefine the way we think about knowledge, health, and self-reliance. And on March 1st, he's unleashing Enoch, a free, open-source, large language model that's unlike anything you've ever seen. This isn't just another AI chatbot. This is a knowledge revolution and it's coming to brighteon.ai. So what exactly is Enoch? Imagine having access to the world's most comprehensive, curated collection of knowledge on food, nutrition, natural health, herbs, toxins, alternative medicine, emergency preparedness, off-grid living, economics, finance, history, climate, energy, you name it. Enoch has it all. It's like having a library, a wellness coach, a survival expert, and a research assistant all rolled into one. And here's the kicker. It's completely free. No subscriptions, no hidden fees, no strings attached. Mike Adams believes that access to knowledge is a basic human right, and Enoch is his way of giving that right back to the people. Now let's talk about why this is such a big deal. For years, big tech giants like Google, YouTube, and Facebook have been controlling the flow of information. They've been censoring, manipulating, and gatekeeping knowledge to serve their own interests, often at the expense of truth and human well-being. Think about it. How many times have you searched for something online, only to be met with biased results, media propaganda, misinformation, or outright censorship? Enoch changes all of that. It's decentralised, it's uncensored, and it's yours. Once you download it, it's yours to keep and use, forever, and you can even use it commercially. No internet connection required, no surveillance, no one watching over your shoulder, just pure, unfiltered knowledge at your fingertips. But here's where it gets even more exciting. Enoch isn't just a passive repository of information. It's alive. It's dynamic. It's interactive. It can answer your questions, generate articles, summarise books, critique arguments, and even help you write screenplays or novels. It can analyse the ingredients in your food or cosmetics and tell you exactly what's safe and what's toxic. It can teach you how to build a shelter, connect solar panels, sterilise water, or collect rainwater. It's like having a Swiss army knife for knowledge, and it's all powered by an AI that's already outperforming Google, OpenAI, Meta, and Microsoft on fact-based questions in areas like biology, climate, and disease prevention. Let that sink in for a moment. This isn't just a tool. It's a miracle knowledge solution that overcomes forced ignorance. And the best part? Enoch is designed to empower you. It's not just for tech geeks or academics. It's for everyone. Whether you're a parent trying to make healthier choices for your family, a prepper looking to hone your survival skills, or just someone who's tired of being lied to by big pharma and corporate interests, Enoch has something for you. It's a wellness coach, 
a research assistant, and a survival guide all in one. And it's about to become the best piece of technology you've ever owned. Now let's talk about the technical side for a moment. Enoch is roughly a 5 gigabyte download, and it's compatible with Mac, Windows, and Linux. You don't need a supercomputer to run it, but if you've got an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, it'll run even faster. And once it's on your computer, it's there for good. No updates, no expiration dates, no one can take it away from you. It's yours to use, explore, and learn from, forever. So, what do you need to do? Head over to brighteon.ai and sign up for the email alert. That way, you'll be the first to know when Enoch is released. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. This isn't just another tech release. This is a movement, a revolution, a chance to take back control of your health, your knowledge, and your future. March 1st is the day the world changes. Are you ready? Because Enoch is coming, and it's going to change everything. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little teaser video. Yes, it's all true. And th this is a very big deal. You would not believe the amount of knowledge that we are embedding in this new system. It blows away anything we did in the previous year by far. Uh, this is revolutionary. So definitely sign up at brighton.ai. You'll want to you'll want to download and use the new model that we make available there. Uh, free of charge, Google, Anthropic, Microsoft, Meta, etc., are all truly retarded because they're trained to be woke, insane, and stupid. You know, to say things like, well, carbon dioxide plays no role in plant health or crop production, or carbon dioxide is a poison, or men can have babies, you know, stupid things like just incredibly stupid things. But you see that the CIA forces the U.S. AI companies like Anthropic or OpenAI forces them to put in these woke narratives. So the U.S. companies have to force their supercomputers to be cognitively retarded in order to produce the output that is in alignment with the stupidity of the regime in power. I mean, this is truly Orwellian. It's beyond just going back and changing the, the news or the encyclopedias to match the current regime in power. This is altering the AI reasoning models to dumb them down to the level of woke that the Democrats promote. I mean, seriously, to be woke, you have to be retarded. To be DEI, you have to be cognitively impaired. To believe that carbon dioxide is bad for plants, you literally have to be stupid. Which, by the way, that, that's about 80% of Western scientists right there because they all think carbon dioxide is bad. They are actually retarded. And they can still get PhDs in other areas, by the way, but when it comes to actual practical knowledge about photosynthesis, which I learned in the 10th grade in high school, I still remember the class because we had to just memorize a formula. Um, I mean, I knew this stuff in the 10th grade. Today's scientists in, in the West still don't know this, or they've been brainwashed to think that carbon dioxide is bad. You know, they're climate cultists. Now, Trump Related to this, Trump has ordered the entire federal government to close all DEI offices by the end of work on Wednesday. This is an executive order, a memorandum to heads and acting heads of departments and agencies. It says that effectively all DEI offices or DEIA, as they call them, which is, you know, what is it, diversity, equity, inclusiveness or some nonsense, uh, they're all to be closed, and all the people should be uh, put on leave who were part of those offices. So thank God. And you know what's fascinating to me is that here we are at the, the verge of uh, breakthrough AI reasoning models. And what I found in just running experiments myself on the reasoning models, and, and by the way, I am downloading right now uh, the DeepSeek R1 uh, distilled 14 billion parameter model. It's 12 gigs, so it's going to take a while. <laughs> it may not make it today. Uh, but the reasoning models, they reason much better than woke tards. Uh, in fact, they, they reason better than most humans. They reason better than most attorneys. They reason better than most judges. They reason better than 
uh, almost, almost all people right now, something that you can literally run on your desktop reasons better. It's astonishing to me because, you know, human beings, obviously, you know, we are the true children of God and AI can never replace a soul and it can never serve as a God. And I don't worship AI like some people worship it, you know, the transhumanists and, and the anti-humanists and all, all that nonsense. No, but I recognize that uh, AI tools can help us express our divinity. And it's, it's extraordinary how these AI tools can aid in our expression. And actually, and please listen, this is the most important part. AI tools can achieve decentralization of knowledge, which means they can bypass big tech censorship. And that's the way that I'm using AI with the model that I'm releasing, Enoch. It's to bypass big tech censorship and to have this incredible body of knowledge, this wealth of knowledge on topics that are typically banned or minimized by the establishment. And I'm happy to say today that uh, ANH, the Alliance for Natural Health, has donated all of their article content from, uh, let's see, I mean, going back more than a decade, but ANH USA and ANH International. So it's thousands and thousands of articles that we're training on there. We also have been donated uh, years of content from Children's Health Defense. So CHD content is part of the training of this model. Uh, on top of that, of course, Natural News, uh, Joseph, Dr. Dr. Joseph Mercola, he donated the Mercola.com website content, uh, Sarah G from Green Med Info, uh, The Truth About Cancer, uh, Ty Bollinger, Charlene Bollinger. They donated all their content, and there are many, many others. Uh, Corey Andrulot donated a whole series of lectures, I think 50 hours of pro-liberty lectures and so on. Uh, anyway, it, it goes on and on and on. And the content that this is being trained on is a wealth of knowledge and when this is in your hands, no one can limit your access to this knowledge because these language models do not run in the cloud. They run on your local computer. So Google can't surveil you. Google can't stop you. The government can't stop you. And one of, one of the most astonishing things in all of this is that China is releasing the open source reasoning models while U.S. companies are in effect, refusing to release open source, such as OpenAI, which is misnamed. It's not open. It's closed AI. They should be called closed AI. Just remember that. Whenever you hear the name OpenAI, it really means closed AI. China's releasing the open source models, which means that China, yes, China is contributing to the democratization of compute power, of reasoning models and language models and effectively knowledge and China's models are the least censored models in the world.